everyone, it's Hideko Kurtum. Today, I will introduce you my top three Japanese pizza. First one is miso ricotta and negi, then nasi eggplant and shichimi, then mizuna, pancetta and corn. They are so delicious. Yes, I know. I love pizza. You love pizza, right? And you can put any ingredients you want, basically. So why not Japanese flavor? I also put a lot of Japanese vegetables. So I will show you how to make it. By the way, all the Japanese vegetables I use today is from suzukifarmusa.com. Negi and nasu eggplant, then mizuna. They are also fresh, farm to table. First pizza is Japanese negi, scallion pizza. The base is Japanese miso, white miso, and ricotta cheese. This combination is amazing. Oh my god, you have to try. And ricotta cheese, creaminess, uh, needs saltiness. So miso has really good saltiness and umami flavor. Both filamented and cheese and miso has umami, a lot of umami. So we're gonna mix this. Five tablespoons of ricotta cheese and one tablespoon of white miso. One tablespoon of white miso. This is pretty salty, right? So just one tablespoon is done. Then, five tablespoons of ricotta. This is good combination. Then, mix very well. And just to taste it. Mm. It's a great combination, yes. And so this is gonna be the base for the negi pizza, yes. Wash well first and cut this part. this baking sheet top is this silicone thing you can put the foil too take it out put the dough then the vegetable for me it's easier just stretch like this you can use the roller but this is easier. See? I cannot do this, but <laughs> you don't have to. Just, you know, use their weight and you know, stretch. Okay, that's it. So it's ready. And put this ricotta miso cream. On top of this, then carry on negi. Then just a touch of salt and extra virgin olive oil. Look at this, it's perfect. The next pizza is Japanese eggplant. I love eggplant, especially this Japanese. 
much smaller than Americans, right? So easier to cook. You cook like a zucchini, cut like this, then fly. Oh my god, eggplant and oil combination is so good. I usually use avocado oil or olive oil. You can use your favorite oil. I got this idea from eggplant parmigiano. So top of that, I put a lot of parmigiano reggiano. Garlic. That's it. So simple, right? And just taste it. Make sure the saltiness. Oh my god. This is the most delicious, easiest, simplest pizza sauce ever. It's so good. Wow. Look at this. You don't have to put a lot of oil. Just enough amount is fine. Fry eggplant until golden color and crispy. It's getting crunchy, so it's ready. Just put the salt and eat as the chips. Oh my god, this is the best. The last pizza is pancetta and mizuna. Mizuna is actually similar to alugula. It has a bitter taste and nice bite. I like this flavor. Yeah, it's a bitter and also like a kind of flavor of mustard. Yeah. Mm. So in Japan, we you know usually cook, but also we can eat like salad as well. So this is perfect for pizza topping. Mm. And this pizza's point is soy sauce. Yes, mozzarella cheese and soy sauce is, you know, great combination again, because both fermented and umami bomb. Just like touch of like soy sauce. My favorite corn. This is actually fresh corn. Or any 
you know, fresh green, extra virgin olive oil, and a touch of salt. Then it's ready. So it's all ready. Oh, it's still hot. Look at this. See? It's so good, right? Eat the flowers. Mmm. Oh my god. This mizuna is a great touch because it's a freshness and bitterness and nice bite and great combination with this you know salty pancetta and sweet corn mm. and i can you know i can taste touch of soy sauce mm. Mm -mm -mm. i love that i uh, put a lot of vegetables on my pizza especially you know japanese touch i, I like to put a lot of a lot of uh, mizuna Mm. We love this pizza, so I hope you love it too. And this one, Japanese eggplant. They become so sweet after fry. Mmm, mmm, and crunchy. Mmm, mmm. Eggplant sweetness and tomato, you know, a little bit sour and saltiness and great flavor from the parmesan reggiano oh my god this is winner too oh my god this this is so good too and this one is miso ricotta and nigi this is very great you know japanese flavor combination mm. Mm, creamy Mm. And you know, miso is a really touch, so you can really tell. But the saltiness and this miso umami flavor, mm. and the negi, lots of negi, I put it right. And cheese, wonderful, wonderful combination. Wow, mm. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed too. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Cheers.